Man, I got all the flavor, say I'm delicious. I'ma have all you motherfuckers lay in a ditch. I'ma kill all you rappers, I'ma aim with precision. They was rocking with your ass, they made a decision. All my friends making millions cause they know I'm a bitch. A lot of entertainers crash, I can see the collision. Okay, guys, welcome to another episode of Tea and Shane. What we have today is Shane doing Tia's breakfast. Uh, yours truly. Um, what we're gonna do is give you an insight or a day of a simulation weekend or day of tier eating. Um, this is a great time for us since we're two weeks out from the CrossFit Games uh, of trying foods that um, trying foods that we want to implement on game day weekend and just seeing how our stomach sits with it and it's also just to adapt to the amount of food she will have for the weekend as well. So uh, after I cook breakfast I'll go down I'll try to break down a lot of what we're going to have throughout the day and then obviously Tia will go through it as well and why she likes those foods as well. So breakfast is served. Um, what we have and I'm just going to refer to the phone since we've sort of logged it. Um, what we have in front of us here guys is we've mixed it up from a traditional breakfast of a bagel. We've gone to a ciabatta roll as you can see here just from Publix. Um, we have two slices of turkey, two eggs, hardly, well, no, sorry, cooked hard, not hardly cooked. <laughs> and then we have 50 grams of avocado, half a tablespoon of butter. And then uh, over here, we have 45 grams of granola um, with peanut butter bits and a bit of chocolate, dark chocolate, so it's healthy. And then 150 grams worth of almond milk unsweetened yogurt and then over here we have a, a glass of juice with a scoop of creatine over here we have a glass of green mix um, the reason why we've gone green mix is just to consume a lot more greens and nutrients so it's apparently it's the blend format we understand there's some sugars and some preservatives possibly in there but the biggest thing is is uh, for Tia to get her calories in a simulation weekend like this, like the games, where we would like to get uh, greens and nutrients rather than consuming them by sitting down and eating them throughout the day. We thought we'd just inundate her in the morning, see how her stomach feels, something new we're playing with, and seeing how she, uh, seeing the energy that she has throughout the day as well. But Having said that, later in the evening we would have uh, Brussels or some form of greens as well. So again, this is more of a simulation weekend for the CrossFit Games, hence why we're experimenting with two or, new, two or three new things in our daily breakdown. So in front of us here, we have roughly, I say roughly because I did measure it and not a professional, but we have 1,200 calories just sitting in here as well, in front of us. The bale. I'm actually shocked, but like the bagel has been like the go-to breakfast uh, bread. And then Shane brought these home one day. And uh, this little like burger sandwich combo is just way, way better than the bagel. It has nothing to do with calories or anything like that. It just tastes better. Right, uh, I don't know if anyone will notice, but We've got butter on peanut butter. Now it's not actually the way I do things, but it's the way Tia wants things. So what Tia wants, Tia gets. Well. Anyone else? Anyone else? Butter on butter, man? What is this for, lunch? Lunch. This is lunch. This is mine. Uh, this is lunch, so this is a little snack between. Something what we would do straight after an event. Uh, more so towards the end of the day, given the fats that we have in the uh, peanut butter. Um, so it's not just about hitting the macros, it's when you're eating yeah, them? Yeah, time, timing seems to be a huge thing with, um, that we've come to appreciate. I say it's been out there for a long time, right? Like, hey, make sure you have your meal at the right time. It's, such, it's just as important as hitting your macros, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this weekend, that's what we're trying to focus on as well, right? Like eating at the right time allowing us allowing tear sorry to feel um, to feel the benefits or to feel hey I felt heavy uh, can we can we not do that again or hey this was good maybe add more and then we'll try it again for the next few days 
and then go from there. The reason why we find it more critical to do it closer to the games is because Tia's um, fitness is at its, at its highest. So if we were to do this in the off season and play around with it, um, we wouldn't get accurate feedback on how a body is performing as well. And I'm sure you could imagine as well, like what you like in the open, like those styles of food, um, may not be the same when you come into the games time as well. So practicing it closer for us seems to be a lot more beneficial than doing it, say, three months earlier. Right, so what I'm gonna do is pack our lunch for the day. And again, I apologize if you're expecting to see more of Tia. She's just in comp mode and I'm just doing a lot of the verbiage for her. But what we have in front of us, guys, is uh, packed protein chips seems to be something that we're playing with, experimenting with. Uh, quite healthy, chicken breast, chicken chips, I'm about it. Salt and vinegar, secret weapon. What we have here is some muffins uh, provided by Rosie Jo. So we actually have some of her meals and we worked with them in the past. Love the muffins, we're about that. We have, not scheduled, but I put in two, or sorry, she's put in two in her app. Um, she's gonna have them throughout the day or throughout the training day to see how she feels. Uh, something we've done before. What we have here again is a serving of rice and 200, or sorry, 150 grams of ground beef. And um, we'll show you where we get our beef later if you're into that. We have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich made by your truly, not sponsored. Um, so we've, we've put in three of these for the day, right? Uh, but again, we're just going based off feel because every day is not the same. So for us following a strict guideline on um, calories wouldn't be fair on her body because every day is different, right? But we try our best to keep within it or fluctuate our fats and our carbohydrates. We can speak more about that later, but I have three here scheduled, but I've gone to the liberty of, of adding two more. Maybe one for me, we'll find out, or two. What are they? You didn't say what they are. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna revert, I'm gonna rewind that. Let's, let's take it back a bit. So these are just mixed fruity snacks. Uh, they've, they've informed me that they're real and natural fruit. <laughs> hey, not bad. Vitamin A, C and E, you know. Uh, never had these growing up as a kid, so I think we're uh, compensating for what we missed out on. 80 calories per each pack, pretty good sugar hit, quick hit between workouts. And um, seems to be good for the uh, endurance athlete, the old Nutribar. So I'm not sure if this will bring back our childhood, but we have one of them in the books. Uh, Nutrigrain? Nutrigrain, yep. Additionally, haven't put them in, but what we do have on standby is some fuel for fire. We have two of them on standby. And then at the gym, we also have uh, some protein, but uh, so at the gym, we also have Tears protein tubs. They just stay there locked in her tool bag. Uh, not in a tool bag, that's probably the old method of tool where box. we used to work, toolbox. But in her gym bag, we have gym box. We have uh, her protein, her first form supplement sitting in there. What we've also got guys, and this is like a Swiss army knife. I'm going to show you the secret weapon. So this, it's not just a spoon guys. We have here a fork and a blade. It's not a switch blade, but it's pretty close. And it's quite, if you can see this real closely, it's quite evenly balanced. I like, I like how they've distributed the workload evenly. And I like how it sits. There's like a nice groove for your spoon. You know, look, switching it up, boom. There's a fork position, a knife position, and you guess it's spoon position. Anyway, secret weapon, you can find them here. Don't know, I don't know what they're about, but you're welcome. And then, um, and Steve's your auntie. Here it is, day of eating. Oh, um, I would say that I have one to two coffees a day. Um, sometimes I don't have coffees. Like, I know if I don't um, hit, like if I don't have a coffee in the morning, I do find that I actually don't um, get a headache or anything. So I don't think I'm relying on it. But I like to sit down um, in the morning and read and by the time I get through one coffee, I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna have another one. But it mustn't be very strong either, so.
All right, snack time. So I'm gonna have uh, my peanut butter and jelly um, sandwich. See, I'm not overly hungry right now, but um, I still want to make sure that like I'm I'm having enough calories. So I'll have this. I'll have uh, some sugar, and then I'm also gonna have my little muesli bar, my Nutri-Grain muesli bar. How far are we in the training? Like halfway? Uh, I would say we're probably. Yeah, oh, hmm, maybe like just over a quarter of the way through training so far. So we've got um, two more workouts to do plus some accessories and then we'll head on over to the pool. So um, I'll have like these snacks now, then after this next workout I'll have um, something else to eat for the next workout and then after the accessories I'll have something before my swim. Um, and I might break up my, my actual meal, so I'll have like half after this next workout and then half before the swim. Um, just making sure that I'm, I'm never feeling hungry or feeling depleted. Um, and I have such a huge variety that I can choose. Some, some days, you know, I'm not feeling overly hungry, so I'm not really feeling like that meal right now. But if I stay on top of this and on the way I feel, I'll have this that'll keep me satisfied. Um, and sometimes I feel real hungry after like my morning conditioning piece so I'll have my meal and then like I'll have this later in the afternoon um, so it really just depends on like how I feel I really take um, I really listen to the body um, and I, I've just been doing this like for so long that I just know what what I need to Take a seat, man up the feet. I'm hungry like a man fast in this week. It's time to eat, back from the dead, but don't repeat. I'm the missing link. Open your eyes, what do you seek? My vision complete. Uh -huh. Them as black as they come, come. Even shoot black when I. Uh -huh. I'ma shoot black when I come. Bang. They wanna attack, but I'm numb. I'm numb. Just gets the black on my bum. Hi, I'm, I'm moving back to the sun. The sun. Uh -huh. I just rap cause it's fun. Got my lady wearing all black like a nun. Make a deposit, leave them with some knowledge Hundred grand and I ain't safe for college nah. My kids gon' get all this Uncle Sam, what it all when he yard it Even the land when I bought it Add it up. Alrighty, no, so we, we got just problem. got into the car Cause we're going to be driving to the pool this afternoon So I've done um, a morning conditioning piece with just machines um, I've had something to eat, obviously breakfast Then something to eat after that and then I've also um, ate throughout the day in between my um, other conditioning pieces, some of my lifting pieces. Um, and so I'm going to have my other half of my um, lunch. So if I can turn it around. So I have my mince and rice here. Um, I'm gonna eat that because the drive from the gym to the pool is roughly around about 30 minutes um, and then you know by the time I've finished that it's digested and it's going to give me the energy that I need um, getting into the pool so um, yeah One. There. Right, so we just finished swimming. Um, we found ourselves now back here getting ready for dinner. What it consists of is a fillet, an eye fillet, no, a fillet. Um, I'm having the eye fillet. I'm going to have two minutes on each side. 
trying to get the internal temperature of 127.5 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take 10 degrees, pretty big window. And then, uh, oh, ignore the smoke. And then we're gonna do two cups of potato, which we've made here earlier. Uh, I've added a bit of butter, just a bit of fat. Not that we're strict or looking for the last degree of gram or precise calorie or macro, but just more for the taste now for this factor, just consuming in a lot. I think what, what varies from day to day is certainly the volume or the, the program, right? So just playing with that accordingly, making sure that if anything we're over full then under full at this point in the season. Uh, so we've just had this one for two minutes. I'm just gonna let take this off and let it rest for a minute or two. I'll serve it up and then um, we'll see if any mistakes were made. Yeah. Make sure that I get a good I like to make eyes like that. I let the steak steaks rested. Uh, in the meantime while I'm burning it out. This is what we use for seasoning. What is it? Fresh herbs, spices infused with sea salt. So going through this again guys, so what we have in front of us here is, uh, sorry, over there we have the filet, it's about six and a half ounces. And then over here we have mashed potato. I've added a bit of butter and I've tried to use one of our homemade recipes. Wow, that's who we're kidding. One of the uh, already pre-made recipes on there, I've just sort of tried to grab or use what I think is accurate to what we do. Uh, so a little bit of butter. I'm gonna call that, like I said, two teaspoon or two tablespoons, and then milk to keep to get the viscosity or the the texture right. Salt and pepper, uh, and then here we are. And then what I'm gonna do also is just what we have left, or what was not counted in or on the way back from our trip. Tia had some more of those. Um, let me just get them out. Some of these suckers on the way home. Tia was not the only one who had a few of these. I had a few too. But we're not counting my calories because we'll be here all day. And then now, ready to eat. Right guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up. But before we do, what we've also calculated is Tia's night snacks. That's about the thing, night snacks. What we do have us do find ourselves holding here is some, uh, some cereal some night cereal and then we're gonna have this I think what we've factored in already is a cup and a half of them bad boys a cup of milk so we are roughly at 4,200 calories for today guys if you have any questions on, on all of this please see a professional I'm just a coach and I, I dive deep into physical performance not the nutrient side of things what we've been able to do is work with people closely and then tweak that best suited for Tia over the years that she's been competing as well. So guys, again, this is not suitable for someone that is trying to achieve or make it to the games tomorrow. This is something that Tia has built a foundation on, tweaked it here, implemented more fats or carbs throughout the day and, and understood what her body needs. So. If you did enjoy this, we would appreciate it if you did like and subscribe to our channel. Um, a lot of work goes behind the scene. That chef that cooked all this, he uh, slaved away. And let's just say, hopefully there was no mistakes made. Hey, okay. um, But again, appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Greatness. It's just something we made up. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. We're all capable of it. All of us.